Hey guys, I want to share some tips about branding. I see a lot of people who get this uh, this part a little bit confused and they start going really broad and they don't um, narrow down their message. The, the importance of narrowing down your message is that you can actually attract the right audience to yourself. So when you when it comes to your branding, you want to be able to describe yourself in three words what exactly it is that you do. So I, as an, I'll use myself as an example. I'm a marketing and systems expert. So that's very small, precise, and people understand that I I, uh, I talk about marketing always, creating systems, that uh, an expert. And after that, um, after that, you want to make sure that in the next sentence, which is normally five to twelve words, you ex you you kind of tell them a little bit more about what exactly you do. So when people ask me, as an example, I'll say I'm a marketing and systems expert, and I help people make money while they sleep. I know that may, that may sound really far-fetched, but it builds intrigue. It makes people want to know more, and I show them different tools and softwares or different uh, processes that they could um, set up in their business to create passive income or money or have their business working for them while they sleep. So I want you guys to think about that. How would you ex how would you brand yourself, and uh, and how would you um, express to somebody in a very quick sentence so you don't run on talking about, oh, they all started when I did this and this. A lot of people don't have the time to really hear your story, so they want to understand really quick if there's something you can do for them. When people ask what you do, what they're really asking is, what can you do for me? So that way um, they know if they want to, uh, if they start asking you more about your business and more about how you start, how you got started, started, then they're really, then you could go into telling them more about your story and all that. But at a quick glance, whenever you're networking, um, this is uh, what people would want to know. So um, if you guys have any questions about this, definitely reach out. Um, actually, here's one more quick tip before I go. When you want to find out the three words on what it is exactly you do, think about the technical side, uh, the technical part of what you do on, on one side and think about the, the end result of what you do. Uh, what you deliver. So whenever uh, you want to express that, if you start talking all these technical words, if I start telling you that I create all these marketing systems by um, using APIs and uh, web hooks, then you, a lot of people don't really understand what that is. So it's too technical. And then if I start telling them that I help people make money while they sleep, that sounds like too good to be true. So that actually is a little too far to the right. So you want to file somewhere in the middle of those two. So what is the result of what you do? And what's the technical part? And then if you can find something that, that lands kind of in between, then that builds intrigue, then you make people more interested in what it is you're doing. And most of the time, if you could create something that intrigues them, but makes them want to say yes in their head, that really helps a lot when you start talking to them for closing purposes or anything like that. But I hope it helps. Definitely reach out if you guys have any questions. And I'll talk to you guys later.